This is the part where I'm stupid. What's this one going to be? In this part, I proceed to overlook the obvious and run around blindly before adv advancing the plot in Elia in Cambodia. Ooh, sounds fun! An idiot running around? That's for great TV. Hey, everybody. I wish he... I guess this was an early Let's Play of his, but couldn't he have... Try to get at least HD? Seriously. Not even 60 frames per second. Then again, YouTube only goes 60 frames per second at least at 720p, so there's that. Stats for nerds? Eh. Okay then. Howdy and welcome back to Let's Play Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem Blind. So yeah, I turned up the Blind. brightness a bit on Pinnacle. Hopefully it shows. Yeah. Blind. And also, I sort of made some changes to how it records, so the quality will look a bit better. Granted, I've been using that same quality setting um, all this year, but I don't know. It's just like the two videos made with that quality setting for this game didn't really do it justice so yeah I sort of switched it up a bit so hopefully it's a considerable jump in quality so anyway let's head on back into this well there's no lines on the bottom at least I think I load the game anyway yeah okay that clicking the darkness comes Boy, you okay, can if this was it. in the dead of night, that would probably scare me. Well, creep me out a bit. Yeah, it's 10 a.m. That looks like something from Ocarina of Time. That reminds me of something from Ocarina of Time. I was going to record this last The night. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. But Ocarina I was ungodly tired. Already I forgot the control. You're going to record what? Night, that would probably scare me. Well, creep me out a bit. Yeah, it's 10 a.m. I was going to record this last night, but I was ungodly tired already I forgot the control all right I got this all right uh, what how do you run again I was too busy okay, no. all right I got this I was too right. busy yelling on purpose <laughs> too busy yelling on purpose. Time for some exploration I'm not Actually, no, what items do we have? We got the dresser key, Tome of Eternal Darkness. This is the Tome of Eternal Darkness, where experienced spells and enchanted items can be stored for future use. It has been made from fragments of human skin and bone and endowed with magical powers. Okay. So. Now am I running around trying to find a dresser or something I th mysterious? I think it looks worse Back actually. Back in this room where I have no idea what to do. Yeah, I think this actually looks even worse somehow. Just for the examine prompt. That's all I can do. Unless so you just think. I think this was what he was talking about with the cables and such. It looks like a dresser right there. I can't examine it, uh... Nope, okay. Okay, well, I still have no idea what I can do in there. Okay. Well, I think I am effectively stuck now. Um, just check all the rooms. Hmm. Well, that just leads me back out there. And I'm not getting the examine prompt prompt anywhere, so... Oh, I like that little effect there, the sunspot. That's nice. Sunny! 
Okay, seriously, what the hell am I doing? Wait. Hmm, wooden plank. Okay, but I don't have a narrow blade yet. Anything with this what? table? No, okay. What does that sound? Well, so far I am thoroughly and... What does that sound? This table. Hmm. No, okay. Hmm. Well, so far I am thoroughly and utterly confused. Frame rate? This is the oh, ammo goody. Room, right? Oh yeah. goody frame rate yeah, at times. Right there. Guess it looks fine close up. But I don't believe that's anything new. Well, better than far away, at least. I can barely see your pants! Of a blind playthrough. Wait. I can barely see your pants, actually. I don't believe that's anything new. It blends in with the background. Ah, the pitfalls of a blind playthrough. Wait. Those are just pictures. Table set for one. Alex's grandfather, Edward. Alex's grandfather. Edward's private nature meant that he never had many visitors, and this is the lonely evidence of it. Hmm. Okay, well, damn. What, what, what am I supposed to be doing now? There has to be something in there, I, I'm guessing. Or some indication. Unless it has something to do with that huge puzzle room. Stamina! I have no idea what I'm supposed to do in that puzzle room. Or am I missing something in that hidden room? Okay, for a minute I thought I heard heavy breathing. I don't know if that's her getting tired or something. I think it's her getting tired. The books in this corner seem to focus on the supernatural. The writings of Poe, Lovecraft, and poetry of Blake. The art of Bosch. Everything with a tie to ethereal horror or fantasy. It was all here. A reference library to the arcane. Was this... Alex's grandfather's secret hobby? Hmm. That didn't give me any insight. Uh, the stressor, maybe? I, maybe it's something there. I think. Seriously, what the hell, man? Hey. Hmm. No, that'll just take me back to the thing. This... Persia. This gothic cathedral is silhouetted against a stark light. The image is vicious and devoted to subtly... Subtle... Subtle... Subtlety. Every silence be there. Every brushstroke echoes to the spot. Spikes of the architecture, imbuing a violent feeling, as though the ancient building itself is harsh in imposition, is a harsh imposition on reality. A grim picture indeed. Persia. Crap. Face. This looks like some kind of mask. The face is serene in composure, with a faint hint of a smile tugging at the corners of the mouth and eyes, closed in deep meditation. Okay, looks like I'm just going to cut ahead until I figure out... A painting of a jungle-shrouded building. It seems to be a temple in Asia, perhaps from... Thailand or Cambodia. What the hell I need? Was Thailand? 
No, Thailand. That, that, that's that's no. Be right. <laughs> what was I thinking? Thailand. Back. Mmm, then... those are some thighs. Oh, well, I'm fucking smart. Oh, that. Yeah. I didn't... Th this. I couldn't... I honestly couldn't see that because of... Admittedly, I couldn't see... I think I couldn't see that because of either the quality of the video... Or the camera never was angled in that. Actually, I think the camera wasn't angled. Now that I think of it, I don't think the camera was angled in such a direction to see this sword. Perhaps. Or if it was, the quality of the video wasn't helping, at the very least. But I think it was the angle of the camera. An ancient Roman weapon, a gladius. Is on display above the fireplace mail. Another token of eclectic junk. Hey, who are you calling a sword junk, huh? Sword. Ancient Roman weapon, a gladius, is on display above the fireplace mantle. Another token of eclectic junk. Alex okay, is a part so of that. That, and I'm guessing I need to take that. That, and I'm. Okay, so we got. The Gladius. Uh, okay, so Gladius. we got that, and I'm guessing I need to take that Gladius. to Gladius. the uh, the uh, the door. Aren't you glad you got it? <laughs> slot. Enunciation. It is good. So glad. <laughs> glad to see me. <laughs> I'm gonna keep making. If it was right through here. Yeah, either door. But puns! Yeah, this is how you progress. Okay. Huh. Alex, Alex. Is blade in the slot, but feels it pushed back as if the magic of the blade does not fit the lock. Are you kidding me? Are, are, are you freaking. Fasten to the door, taking the place of the lock. Wooden plaque. Hmm. A colored sickle is carved into the wood above a white slot. The slot is... Okay, so... Let me read this again. A wooden plaque is fastened to the door taking the place of... Oh, oh, this uh, round... Oh, this brown thing. I see. Okay, so... Chuck Trung, who's a class, was designed primarily for hacking and chop. Yeah, it's in there. But, sorry, I may have not noticed. Uh, I wanted to try not going OCD on this, so I don't want to keep going back and back and back. It'll disrupt the flow. It was designed uh, primarily for hacking and chopping at the enemy, but could be used to pierce armor as well. Used to pierce armor. I feel that is important. Just checking everything just to make sure. Okay. Oh, wait, does that mean I can actually equip this as a weapon? Or not? I think, I think you actually equipped it. Okay, well, I thought I was onto something there. Actually, I think you equipped it. Apparently, actually. I wasn't. I think you equipped it. This is no, confusing. Uh, well, he's gonna probably realize if he can equip right, well, it. I guess because... I need to bite the bullet and figure out what I need to do in here. <laughs> or it doesn't give me that info anymore. Hmm. I don't notice anything changing on the screen other than this dial. I oh, I read this before. Okay, this that angle though. It seemed important. I don't notice anything changing with this either. Do I have to, like, do something to reflect some light? What's that? Huh. 
guess just a way to look up there. Okay. Cutting the head again. I, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Alex has found the chapter page entitled The Binding of the Corpse God. So, <laughs> I guess it wasn't. I guess. <laughs> oh! I love his silence at times. Apparently, I did have to pick that up. I thought that would have just given me the option to replay the level. Huh. Okay, well, I guess I might as well read it. Because, yeah, sort of my thought process was I went back and looked at that door and it said the sword doesn't match the magic. So I figured, okay, maybe I need to go back to uh, Augustus, uh, Pius Augustus' uh, little level and replay it to choose the right thing, and yeah, whatever. Anyway, let us check it! This appears to be a page from the Tome of Eternal Darkness. It is entitled, The Binding of the Corpse God. Use this item to read the chapter. Oh, okay. So... Should I? I like, cannot say what okay, was so the yeah, true this actually does Nor am I sure of its end. Yeah, I see. So perhaps here is the best place to start. I am reminded of ideas I first encountered in Sir James George Fraser's book, The Golden Bough, a study uh, of magic and religion. Yeah, this is different. We are overwhelmed by a very human need to weave a web of meaning where there may be none. Since time immemorial, ancient peoples have dressed up their lack of knowledge as gods and demons. I have discovered that sometimes the fates of gods and mortals... Something disappeared. I th was... Some sort of noise has disappeared. Tools intertwine, and oh no, oh no, it's back. Are born. Sorry. The fates of gods and mortals intertwine, and legends are born. Okay, I'm just a fucking retard. Like, yeah. Sorry. Where there may be none. Sorry, it's just since time as I first encountered in Sir James George Fraser's book. Sorry, this is actually OCD talking. How? A study in magic and religion. We are overwhelmed by a very human need to weave a web of meaning where there may be none. Since time immemorial, ancient peoples have dressed up their lack of knowledge as gods and demons. I have discovered that sometimes the fates of gods and mortals intertwine and legends are born. Okay, I'm just a fucking retard. Like, yeah, I, I, I think we've just established that right now. Thy time is done. Boy, the font. And don't be so hard on yourself. Done, great ancient. Forever in shadow will you be master of chaos. And to fade to nothing in obscurity will be thy fate. My master has planned many millennia for this day. It is the true chaos of all things that you now must be entombed amongst the, the beings, beings of, of flesh, flesh and bone. And you have a great monument here, Mantarok. It is a pity that no one will ever recognize it as yours. May the darkness claim thee, crawling chaos and damn beast. No longer will thy reign be kept over the ancients you have kept imprisoned. Thou hast seen the last of this world. Okay, just what the fuck is going on here? Swery McSwerson of Swersylvania. I think I've seen better quality. I think I've seen better quality from a PS1. Fables can keep me amused. There has to be something to do around here. I only wish something that fantastic and of higher purpose could happen to me. Oh, be careful what you wish for. Go okay. Mm. So apparently I'm stupid. I needed to look Go at the book all along. Go figure with something happening to her. Okay, so who are you? We got the Tome of Eternal Darkness and a short sword.
okay. Maybe I should just always look at the journal, I guess. Okay. Well, now we're controlling this hot chick with the short sword. All Why right. is everyone carrying swords? Why is everyone carrying swords? I really want to go through there right now. Just finish checking all these things. Swords, too cool Familiar. for you. Or not. Or swords, so cool. A statue of a goddess. Statue of a goddess delicately sculpted from sandstone. A cast an alert eye where everyone who has the tip of the strange necklace from this neck should. Elia! Okay, that is Sorry, my now. Elia, take the necklace. Finger. Statue. Sorry, my finger was on that. Why not? Necklace can be used to heal Elia. Make sure that Elia does not move when the spell is being cast. Well, that's nice. But now I can't get through here. Okay, I thought it would be like you have the option of... So, okay. okay, I thought it would be like you have the option to put it back so that you can open that door. All right, well, we'll just go through here. Ooh, jeez. Oh, that, yeah, well, that. this brings back some memories, so I'm guessing we're going to be fighting. Detail. Design will appear just to depict the time of the day. Perhaps the candles do too. Was that sunrise or sunset right there? Sunset, maybe? I don't know. Dead guys. Oh, well, isn't that just peachy? What the fuck? Run! Okay. All right. That wasn't that hard. Nothing over there. Nothing over here. Yay! Isn't that just something you just want to see? Right, Blades of Doom. What? These little traps too. Okay, without a scratch. Blue guys. Zombie fight time. When located by creatures, sanity loss occurs, causing a decrease in the level of the sanity meter and the character to pulse green. Beware. Sanity loss affects perception and eventually health. Oh, okay. So anything each time he she meets a monster, his or her sanity will get lower. The sanity meter gets... Uh, the lower the sanity meter gets, the more the character will hallucinate. That didn't happen to Pius Augustus! Wait. Yeah. What now? Are you gonna attack? I forgot how to... <laughs> Engrave! A, a dot target... Engraved on the floor is a striking design featuring a brightly burning sun with scratching in from it. Brightly burning sun. I will look at you later. Point of finishing move on a creature recovers sanity. Alright, well, let me recover my sanity real quick. No, don't detail. Finish him! Yay, my sanity's back. Necklaces. Bronze necklace since the top of clay urn. Yeah, how cliche is it that the female character has to collect necklaces? Okay. Well, oh. everyone wants to look fabulous, don't you? Oh, so wait, this must be noon then? The design on the wall appears to pick the time of the day. Light or extinguish? Okay, that was simple enough. What's that frame rate thing? Wait, what? The 
the door is open slightly, but not enough. Or do I have to... Looks like she could... Cl climb up there. Looks like she could climb up there or do and... do I have to... Go I through it. All of them. What? Do I have to unlight all of them? Wait. The design on the wall appears to depict the middle stage of the day. The day of mankind. The image is now represented by the candles as well. The day of mankind. The image is now represented by the candles as well. Okay. Oh, do I have to go through those spikes again haha -ha. I guess as long as I avoid the traps on the floor oh shit uh, okay This is worse than PS1! Die, bitches! Okay, finish him! Why are the fishing blow so long? Nope! That's so gratuitous! Just decapitate everything! Okay! At least she's having something to do. Grimmel Floor is striking design featured the sun seeking below the edge of the world. Interesting. No, you didn't change. But it seems things did get a lot darker. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I'll give it the bronze necklace. Ha ha! Smart. Yeah. Oh yeah. For the win. Hidden back there. Oh well. Also, let me use those uh, uses okay. on the healing necklace. Engraved on the floor is trying to design featuring the sun rising above the edge of the world. Interesting. Edge of the world. Edge of the world. Okay. Okay. What was that? So fast. Okay, enough of that. Interesting. Perhaps I can see too. Okay. Okay. Nothing has to be changed with that. So more traps. Just walk slowly and avoid the light colored little I don't even know what to call these anymore. Uh tiles? Stones, tablets, switch plate yeah, pressure plates, there we go. Okay, pressure plate. You look disgusting. Muscle man! Just okay. decapitate you. Oh shit. Oh. Okay. Ooh, aggressive. This one means business. Oh, yeah. And he has a lot of health. Did he get and head he back? threw his head back. Gotta see that again. And he has a lot of health. <laughs> back. And he grew his head back. Ooh, do you see zombies do that every day? Okay. Finish him. That was rather disturbing. You can grade the floor and design future star sky filling the heavens. Oh, so I'm guessing this is gonna be darkness. Yep. Okay, so extinguish and extinguish. Aha. Uh -huh. And, uh -huh. Okay. So, was it through here I go? Well, it's a new way. Is that the right way? Well, it's another way. 
Yeah, okay, that was the right way. Once again, avoid these. Holy crap! Ooh! Okay! Damn it! Alright, can I, can I reset those now? Okay, be more careful. Don't deal right. with those traps again. Create quite the surprise. You add nothing. Wait, what are That's you? It. Yeah. Small pedestal yeah. covered with decorative etching stands before the wall. The blowgun upon it must have some special significance for it to be on the display. Take it! Blowgun! Take it, weapon! Oh. Well! Yikes. Secret passage in the temple. The second I thought that was blood. The second I thought that was blood, no, it's just really bad quality. Secret passage in the temple. Guess both doors lead to the same way. 